Hi, Evelyn. Good to see you here today. I'm going to just pull up your chart. So it looks like you are in for a scalp check. Um, when you called, you said there had been some tingling in the scalp. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, it started about two weeks ago, just some tingling around my crown and my scalp and a little bit of discomfort with the tingling. So tingling uh, right up in this area on the top of the head? Um, yeah, and down near my ears. Down, down by here? Yeah. But above your ears? Oh, yes. Okay. So that's the crown. Two weeks ago. And does it come and go, or is it pretty consistent, or is it um, anything? At night, it's more consistent. At night, it's, it's, it gets um, more common to happen at night. Yeah. Um, anything that makes it worse? Um, not that I've noticed. Okay. What about anything that makes it feel better? Um, if I'm just in a quiet zone, like if I'm taking a bath. Okay. So if you're like taking a bath and you're thinking about it more, maybe. Any hurt pain to the touch of the head? Any impacts? Anything like that? No. Okay. And has this ever happened before? Um, not that I remember. Okay. So I want to do a thorough scalp check on you then. Um, I really want to see if there's anything going on underneath the surface. Uh, do a little bit of sensory testing probably. Um, and just make sure there's nothing um, we're not seeing that's causing this problem for you. Because um, you said there was really nothing that brought this on and just sort of started, right? Yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and apply some um, gloves. I'm going to sanitize my hands as well. Just uh, close your eyes and relax and... Uh, let me know if anything is painful or um, too uncomfortable for you. Um, I may have to elicit some of that tingling, but uh, it shouldn't be unbearable. So I'm just going to start out by really gently pressing on the head. I want you to tell me if there's any pain when I do this. A little there. A little pain here. Yeah. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no pain at all, 10 being excruciating, what would you call that? Mm, probably just a 3. 3. Okay, is it the same here mm, and there? It's worse on the right side. Worse on the right side, okay. And what about right, uh, do you mind if I remove your glasses? Is Please that okay? go ahead. I'm just going to set them to the side. So right above the ears, you said there was that tingling as well. Is there yeah. any pain or is it just tingling? Just tingling. Okay. Just feel the rest of your head. Anything here? No. That's all okay? Yes. Okay, moving upwards a little. So the pain was right, a little tenderness right here. Yeah. Anything up into the scalp? No. How about there? I'm just going to be feeling now for, I'll be gentle right here, but just any lumps or bumps. Just palpating a little deeper now. anything um, too swollen, There's really no edema or anything like that, no signs or I uh, can't feel any signs of an injury or impact. So I want to look deeper into the scalp now. Starting with my light, I'm going to just do a spot check to make sure there's nothing, and no um, open wounds or anything obvious. Sanitize my tool here. Okay. 
And all this is is just a little separator, so um, you'll feel it in the scalp. Starting in the center here. Is that where you normally part down the middle? Yeah. Not seeing any bruising, any signs of discharge. Listening any of that tingling with this tool here as it runs to the head? No. Okay, good. I'm just gonna set aside the top layer here and check the bottom. your head gently to the side for me. Thank you. So we get to the back. Okay, that looks fun. So we'll check the other side. I didn't see um, anything really on the scalp that would concern me. Um, really no um, dryness, no flaking, nothing that would um, show me that the scalp was unhealthy in any way. Um, so still need to do a little bit more investigating as to why you're getting that tingling. I'm going to take a very uh, fine comb here and I'm just going to be running it along the scalp. Looking even closer.
looking at the follicles, trying to see if there's any change in the hair. They build up at the base of the follicles that could suggest that perhaps there was something wrong with the hair itself. Any hair loss that you've noticed? Um, a bit more than usual. Oh yeah, okay. So I do see a little bit of, especially right at the front here, sort of where you mentioned that discomfort, a little bit of um, thinning. There is still plenty of hair, but if it's getting worse, that's definitely something to consider. It's pretty thick right here in the back of the head, and you said no problems back here, right? Yeah, there's no change in consistency or texture back here that I've noticed. It is the same on this side, just a little bit of thinning of the hair right on that temple region. And then it thickens up about two, two inches down the scalp. So I am thinking that perhaps the thinning right up here and that tingling is related. I do see just that little bit of thinning above the ears as well. Um, and the skin is a little bit more red around there, but um, it doesn't look like an eczema or anything like that. It almost just looks like um, it's irritated from um, you pulling your hair back. Um, how often do you wear your hair back like this? Um, usually, I have. Usually, okay. So I'm almost wondering if you wind up pulling on the scalp when you do that. I'm causing some breakage of the hair and mm. some tension on the follicles, as well as um, causing some of that pain right here in the temples. Um, are you wearing it quite tight? Um, usually, yeah. Usually yeah, you are. Up tight. Okay. I'm gonna do one last test here. I'm just going to check the ends of the hair to make sure there's no um, infestations or critters or anything like that very thorough and then I want to test some of the sensory functions to rule out anything neurological um, but that is what I'm leaning towards
really nothing coming up here, so I don't think there's anything in the hair itself that could be causing any problems. Let me just brush your hair out really quickly so that we can do some neurological testing. Um, any issues with memory loss, change in um, personality, uh, or day-to-day uh, -day functioning? Uh, not that I've noticed. I get irritable if, I, uh, if it hurts, though. Okay, so it's more the pain that's causing you some, yeah. some discomfort emotionally. So to rule out anything more nefarious, um, I do want to just do a few tests. Um, the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to be twirling your hair like this, and I'm going to be pulling in a couple of places, and I want you to tell me if that makes it worse um, in any of the areas. Any? Mm, right around my ears. Yes, yeah, so it makes that worse there. Try it right here. It worse anywhere. Okay. No. Okay. Mm, right above the ear. Here, right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go see there. Okay. Let's try back here. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Above my right ear. Above my right ear, okay. So it seems like any time I put any sort of pulling pressure, it does irritate that area here. Um, was there any discomfort in where the pain is here? I know that I noticed. Okay, I noticed. Okay. I'll go right up here. What about that? Yeah. That's Alyssa said a little bit more, just really in the front. Yeah. Okay. Um, so again, another confirmation that I think that you're having some um, negative reaction to the, the hair being back. But for the last few tests here, I want to check your neurological functioning and your sensation because you mentioned not just pain, but also tingling, right? So I'll start out on the uh, right side here. I'm just going to gently turn your head. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, so I have several tests here. Um, and the first one is very simple. I just want you to tell me if you can feel um, when I'm touching you. So I've just got that same little tool that I was using before. Do you feel that there? Yes. And I want you to just say yes when you feel me touch you. Yes. 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 Okay, good. Yes. 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 Okay, good. So it didn't seem like there was too much sensation loss there. And I've got just uh, another little tool here, and there's two points. So it's either I feel like two points like that, or one point like that. Do you feel the difference there? Um, not really. Okay. Um, if I do them a little wider, two like that versus one? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what you feel. Am I poking you two times here, or one time, okay? Two. And what about here? Two. One. Good. Two. One. One, two, two, one, two, one, good, one, one, one. Okay. 
just a little bit of um, differentiation issues there. Um, I'm not too concerned unless some of these other tests elicit negative responses. So let's go ahead and continue. Um, I've got a very sharp tool here and it is going to be quite sharp, um, but I'm not gonna press it too hard. I just want you to tell me if it feels the same sharpness the whole way, okay? So if it feels any uh, less sharp or any more sharp somewhere, let me know. Otherwise, just say the same. Is that the same? Yeah. Okay. Try it right here. Same? Yeah, same. Same. Okay, and what about here? The same. The same. Okay. The same. So that's all fine on that side. The last test I want to do um, is actually two tests. One is I want to see if I'm eliciting any tingling. So you mentioned that you sometimes get the tingles right about here. I've got a little puff of air. I just want you to tell me um, if you feel that tingling sensation at all. Um, I do a bit. You do a bit, okay. Yeah. When does it go away? No. Okay, so it's just about right here. Let me try it down here. Yeah. So when it goes, yeah, away. it goes away. Okay. Same thing. Tell me when it goes away. If you feel it at all. There. And what about back here? I don't feel it. You don't feel it. Anything there? No. Okay. So it's about from right here to right here. A little bit oh, less. Less. Okay. And then when does it go away? Uh, it's gone. Okay. So it's really centralized right to this temple area. Does this feel um, hot or cold? Cold. About right there. Cold. Cold. Does this feel any different temperature-wise to over here? Um, it's more cold. More cold here? Yes. Or, okay. So more sensitive there. What about here? Does that feel cold? Yes. About there. Still cold. Is this colder at all? No. It's the same. So there's just a little heightened sensitivity right in here, right? Yeah. It's the same thing. You feel just as cold there as there. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what you feel on your head right now. A uh, buzz. Okay. So vibration sense is intact. Do you feel it just as strong here? Yes. And here? Yes. Okay. So Evelyn, I want to go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And I won't go quite as in-depth just because we do have a baseline for you already that you're definitely experiencing some sensitivity there, though no sensation loss. So again, just say yes when you feel it. sensation loss there. That same thing, two poking you twice or once? Twice. Twice. Once. Once. Twice. Once. Once. Okay. Did you tell me if there's any change in the sharpness? All the same. 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 The same. The same. The same. Okay. 
Again, I'm looking for that sensation um, of the tingling. Feel it there? There you go, okay. And there? Yes. Tell me when it goes away. There. Okay, on the side, tell me when it goes away. There. There. Nothing here. No. No. Not that same cold. Does that feel cold to you? Yes. Does it feel any different from right here? Uh, less. This is less cold here? Yes. Okay, what about here and here? Is that the same? That's the same. And here and here? Uh, it feels more cold, closer. Okay. And what do you feel there? Uh, that's the same. The same. Okay. Put your head forward now and relax for a second. So I do feel like my initial diagnosis is probably um, correct, uh, although we can do some um, testing of that with some treatment. If it doesn't work, of course, we can come back and reassess. Um, but your sensation is intact, so the neurological function uh, seems to be there. I don't see anything um, in the scalp itself that would be a cause for this. So what I'm really suspecting is that you're wearing your hair back too tight. It's causing some tenderness in the top of the scalp, some breakage of the hair, and some um, uh, effect to the follicles themselves. And then that tingling that you're feeling here is uh, just the scalp being uncomfortable. Um, and really, it pulled back too tight is just giving you those that fuzzy little feeling in your head. Um, so I think what I want you to do, um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a scalp massage just to try and relax the area, relax the muscles of the face, as long as it's not too uncomfortable, but you said it wasn't too bad when I pressed, right? Yes. So I'll give you a little bit of a scalp massage just to relax you, um, but I want you to really try and wear your hair in a loose bun if you have to wear it up, um, or maybe invest in um, some sort of um, cap or something to keep it back as opposed to pulling it really back, and wear it down as much as you can, um, especially, um, when it's dry, uh, when it's wet, and it will be weighing heavier on the body, um, it is still good to keep that pressure off the scalp. So anything you can do to keep pressure off the scalp, I think will help improve, okay? So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a massage here just to try and loosen up that discomfort. All right, Evelyn, I think you're all set today. Um, please go home and try those things that we've suggested. Uh, if it doesn't help, please come back and we'll take another look, okay? Thank you. Thank you.